here with uh, Seacon Square. And this restaurant is called Galanan Gala Noodle Restaurant. And they have premium Thai Wagyu beef. And it basically is boat noodles. Uh, there's some images there. And we actually have a boat. <laughs> In the front end of a boat is a kitchen. And we got some ingredients in the bag, some sauces, and pretty small bowls, but that's, they're probably pretty cheap. So let's see how this works. At the table, we got some condiments. Yeah, they're so deep. I think that's a, yeah, we got some pepper, pepper sauce. Some sort of fish sauce, probably. Probably sugar, yeah, sugar, and red chili. Oh, well, there's a chili paste. So, we gotta get a menu here. Alright, so here we go. It's in English and Thai, so you can figure it out. I think these might be larger bowls. Yeah, for that kind of price, I'd expect it to be larger. And then here's the main menu. Got some fried stuff. Kanati. Thai tempura ramen. So yeah, these bowls are a lot smaller, I'm gonna guess just by the price. some papaya corn corn uh, salad is really good if you don't get dried shrimp it doesn't taste too fishy so it's, and you got your drinks and then a bunch of desserts like grass grass jelly all right so we'll order some stuff all right you know I'm just gonna go with the standard one here so I'm gonna get the traditional style red gerbil soup I'm gonna get a large one and you do have a choice of noodles, but sadly, there's no English next to these other than udon. So I am going to try the udon one. So we missed out on the English of the noodle choices. But you could just point to the picture. Alright, so here's the large size of the traditional noodles. And I got the udon cost more. Udon was 100 baht, so I decided to just get the big rice noodles instead which is technically the same as udon anyways. So you can see it's actually a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. We got some fresh basil leaves in there. We ordered some pork rinds here. And then uh, we got some slices of, uh, what is that, liver? It's either liver or kidney, probably liver just based on its size. But And so it's all pork here. And then with regular pork. And some uh, pork meatballs. All right, so let's try the broth here. Yeah, very rich flavor, of course. It's been stewing away all day long. Definitely a pork flavor to it. We'll see about the quality of this pork. Yeah, pretty thick slice of pork. It's pretty soft. Not really into the organ meats myself. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's not my thing. So it's not spicy at all. There's no spice to this. Just gonna add in some chili. See what this does. The problem with this large noodles called senyai is they stick together. So it takes some time to break them apart. Yeah, that 
chili paste. Right there is all chili paste. Chili paste is pretty mild actually. I'm sorry, I just ate a whole bunch of that. If you want a little vinegar and chilies, makes it a little bit sour, of course. Yeah, I actually like that. So, all in all, it's pretty good. It's just a standard uh, boat noodle here. So. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. It's just good. So there's the final bill, 225 baht. There's no service charge or anything, so that's a good thing. All right, take care.